Hello, this is Daryl, your Modern Work Mentor, with another tip for using Microsoft Loop for managing projects and managing personal productivity. Just to show you how I use it for projects to begin with. This is a workspace for a project which is all about moving from Skype for Business into Microsoft Teams. And one of the tasks that I have to work on is to record a training session and be able to slice that up so that it can be used for training, um, training people later on. Um, now, this is the task. I've got a page here that outlines the what I need to do. It's got a, a link through to the PowerPoint that I'm using for the training. And I've got a couple of tasks and subtasks that I've put into a Kanban board. Uh, now, this is one task of many. And the people that I share this workspace with can keep up to date with all the other things that they're working on within uh, the same project in the various different phases. Now, that's one thing I want to work on for this coming week. If I switch over and show you another workspace, this is a workspace that I use for taking quick notes, for uh, taking meetings uh, and notes uh, that don't have a project yet, or maybe they're just one-off projects, uh, one-off meetings. I've got smaller tasks and projects. I've got a place here where I can test out things in Microsoft Loop and I can capture ideas. Now, uh, what I am doing is also using the space to focus in on what I need to work on for the week. And you might notice that that very same page has been linked in my personal workspace. This is the same page and any updates that I make to it, let's say that I'm in next week and I've been working on things, I've managed to create the run sheet for demos for this particular recording. So I shift that to done. Now, if we switch over back to the project workspace, this is where my team can see, and look, <laughs> it's the very same page. They can see that it has been, uh, that task has been completed. It's over there and done. They might be able to catch up with some of my notes and uh, see things there. But the benefit for me is that I'm able to just bring over things that I'm focused on and put that there as a way of planning out the work for my week. Now, how do I do that? Very, very simply, uh, let's go back to our project workspace uh, and imagine that this uh, task, I haven't added it to my, my personal workspace yet. I'll go to the three dots, I'll add to workspace, and I'll choose the workspace, my personal workspace. Um, and it takes a moment, it's going to create a link through to this page. So now I have switched over to my personal workspace by doing that. You can see the new page that I have added as a link. And I drag that down into a folder I've created for this project. All right, so now I've got two examples of that page. Uh, but that's how I add a page. Now, what happens when I have finished with this task, I've completed everything, and I want to clear it from the, the various things I'm working on. So I can choose the three dots again and choose delete. And this is just deleting the link of this page in my personal workspace. It's not deleting the source page in my project. Let's delete the link. Okay, so that's removed that linked page. Let's go back over to our project and you'll see that the page is still there. It still has all my notes and all my updates. And you know, that could reflect the completed task uh, that we could always go back on and see what happened in there. So very simple, and, and you know, I'm really just showing a few clicking of buttons to, to show you how to link the two together, but can you see the concept? Project, multiple tasks, but what do I want to work on this week? I can add it to my personal workspace, and then I can focus on the things that I need to do, make all the updates, um, access the documents and various things, uh, take some notes, maybe even make some, some task journal notes there about what I've been working on uh, in that space. So if you found that useful, you know what to do, give this video a like. If you aren't already subscribed, then please subscribe because I'm going to continue to share modern work tips. This has been Daryl, your modern work mentor. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.